Hi there, in the previous video I showed you how we can look at some of the charting options um, with our historical data that we imported into NinjaTrader and in this video I'm going to show you how we can look at some of the strategies so if you click File New and then go down to Strategy Analyzer we can see our Quant Supports list of instruments here and if we click the B button here we can select one of our strategies and then select the time frame and then it will actually backtest all the data in that list so in this case six horses um, I've actually I've downloaded two here off the Ninja Trader file sharing forum or three here sorry volatility breakout as well and then the other sample strategies are included in the Ninja Trader platform now there are many many more of these online on various forums some of which have been optimized for scalping on short strat sh uh, short intervals um, some are more swing trading based um, and obviously there, there are so many out there it would take a while to test them all but I'll show you here for example the three that I've downloaded and just an example of how they perform so if, if I select DMIMA um, we can then select the time frame we want <coughs> so I'll change that from a 1 second to a 10 second chart and by clicking OK you can see it's now running the back test over these various instruments and it shows you the outcome um, so in this case a very small profit would have been made uh, but bearing in mind this strategy hasn't been optimized at all for any particular time frame I think this is actually based for the Dow Jones um, it was printed in one of the shares magazines um, you know you can see that's that's reasonably you know profitable based on the um, the fact that this is maybe you know hasn't had any previous look at this data and obviously the better firm markets although they obviously run around exactly the same principles as the financial markets the time frames are a lot they're a lot quicker um, and hence for this reason these strategies aren't optimized for this but you can see here some of the things some of the positions we may have taken and what I like doing from here is with this visual representation of the jump chart um, you know we can annotate these charts to see what would have been profitable ie with the stop losses and the take profits so we could have aimed for maybe three and I could have seen how that would have performed we could have aimed for um, one tick, you know, scalping strategy, and also seen that how that would have come out. And it's just an idea, it's just something I like doing. Um, I'll show you a couple of other strategies as well. So, one of the ones included is the sample moving average crossover. So, when the fast and slow moving averages cross, and on a 10 second chart, I'll just back test that. you can see the results here um, now obviously a lot of platforms do have access to the fast and slow moving average indicators they are the most basic um, and very simple to produce and because of that here we obviously see there's a, there's a small loss made um, and you can see the amount of trades placed as well and on the charts we can see the fast and the slow moving averages as well as where it would have taken positions um, now one thing I tell some a lot of clients when they ask me you know wh how do I trade um, when I'm back testing I I'm not afraid at all to do the opposite you know if something is consistently failing and I'll show you an example of that in a minute how we can take advantage of doing the opposite now um, there's a there is a certain advantage to scalping in the Betfair markets and I'm pretty sure that more traders are scalpers than swing traders um, and so taking really small profits in this case can be um, a better option to the more longer to swing to, uh, swing trades for example I don't know I'll, try, I'll test that on a 20 second chart I'm not sure how many trades there'll be um, one of the things you could do for example is if you had data for the whole day of the favorite for example you could test it on a minute chart or a 10 minute chart and then I think you would see more successful trends on the moving averages um, so you can see here, well, it was actually this is a lot more successful on a 20 minute chart because obviously it's more based around the swing trade. So obviously the greater the time frame, the more time it has, um, and the less susceptible it is to quick swings in the market. Um, but you can see just here how it would have performed again. We have the green and pink dots um, which represent uh, where the trade went. And if we click on trades, um, 
execution sorry you can see you know the the um the periods of the trades how long the average trade was um an equity graph uh and the trades placed and with quant sports in real time this as i said before actually happens um so for example if we had this strategy running live on a chart one of the positions it would have the name of the horse um the type of position the quantity which by default is 100 the price it achieved um the running profit and loss for that um, the same executions, the buy and sell individual orders, the, um, the accounts it will have the total value of your account, the profit or loss. This is all hypothetical though because we can't actually execute patterns. Um, but for example, with real time, you could see the buy signal or the sell signal here. This is on a 20 second chart, and you would have sufficient time, especially with um, instant execution platforms, and to just click and get the trade placed immediately. Um, and you can see account performance here and it will show you through the whole day how that strategy has performed and you can do this alongside using your using the graphs and your own knowledge of Betfair um, and your normal trading as well um, another thing you can do is there are many programmers out there and you could email them with the various data and ask them to back test and find a profitable strategy for that um, and I'll show you here as I was mentioning before how this can get a little messy over a one second chart and you'll see here because this is obviously not suited at all to the time frame you know who trades moving averages over a one second chart I don't think many people um, you know obviously loses a lot more um, but that doesn't mean that's not necessarily a bad thing for example we could look at this and we could see where the moving averages have gone and be able to optimize it for you know one or two tick buy and sell signals um, probably one tick I would say here more than anything um, let me see if I can just look back a bit further and you can see you know the various places where it's taken the trade um, and really <coughs> if the market's ranging which is the opposite of trending so uh, bouncing up and down very quickly some of the resistance indicators can be very very profitable over this period because obviously the moving averages are optimized for longer periods the resistance indicators are generally optimized for the um, the smaller intervals the quicker frequency trades so I've, I hope I've just given you an insight here into what we can do with Quant, uh, what we can do with NinjaTrader and obviously if you wanted this live to run with the markets um, QuantSports allows that if you have any questions feel free to ask um, and look out for some more videos where I'll be showing you the new version and its uh, various benefits um, and thank you for watching